Well, actually, changing up the batting order isn't something he just started doing. Johnson did it constantly last season, whether it was starting Jared Jones, Paxton Kling, and Brady Neal to begin the year or having Cade Beloso and Hayden Travinsky become everyday players in the postseason. Set lineups aren't Johnson's thing. He's built his roster with this philosophy in mind, bringing in players with positional versatility or at least players who in theory can be versatile and has been relentless in building roster depth. But not everything has gone smoothly in this regard. One aspect of the Tigers' positional player group that's not as strong is its left-handed hitting depth. We've got to get more left-handed hitters in the order, Johnson said after Lusu's loss on Saturday to Arkansas. Can't win this league with an all-right-handed lineup. SU has nine players who can hit left-handed, but only three of them have been regular starters this season. Stephen Millam a switch hitter, Brady Neal, and Josh Pearson. Ashton Larson and Jake Brown have also started against Southeastern Conference competition. And Zeb Ruddle has seven at-bats as a pinch hitter this year. The Tigers have tried to add more high-quality options, but Johnson admits that the major league draft in recent years has hamstring his ability to do that. We were able to overcome that last year, Johnson said. We haven't been able to really overcome that this year. SU lost three left-handed hitters to the MLB draft last summer. Starters Tree Morgan and Braden Jobbert were selected by the Tampa Bay Rays' third round and Stee T. Lewis Cardinals' 12th round. SU Signee Blake Mitchell was also drafted by the Kansas City Royals with the eighth overall pick. There's also Beloso, who wasn't drafted, but ran out of eligibility after being a critical piece to Lusu's national championship team a year ago. The Tigers took an even bigger hit the summer before. Switch hitter Jacob Berry was the no. Six overall pick by the Miami Marlins. Infielders Carter Young and Jack Pinetta. Young is a switch hitter, committed to SU out of the transfer portal, but were drafted and signed by the Baltimore Orioles and Kansas City Royals. The worst of these losses, in terms of how it has affected Lusu's roster today, was high school signees Justin Crawford, Mikey Romero and Tucker Toman a switch hitter getting selected in the first two rounds of the draft, and signing with the Philadelphia Phillies, Boston Red Sox and Toronto Blue Jays. All of these draft departures highlight the importance of Pearson and Neal this season, and Millam, Larson, Ruddle, and Brown for the present and future. It's why Larson's two-run home run against Arkansas was promising for Lusu's success moving forward.